The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to estimate material costs for a mechanical assembly using the Bill of Materials from SolidWorks. First, the Bill of Materials has to be prepared for export into Excel. A mass and material column are added to the bomb. The data is verified as correct, and then the bomb is ready for export. To add columns to the bomb, right-click on the column header and choose the Insert option. To change an existing column's property, double-click the column header you want to change, and use the dialog pop-up to change the property. Note that the custom property you desire must first exist in at least one of the parts in order to set the column to that property. To export the bomb to Excel, click on the bomb table in the graphics area, go to File, and then Save As. Save the table as an Excel file. Then you will be able to open the Excel file and modify it to meet your project needs. From here, you can add a cost column, per pound, or per quantity for each component, and sum the cost to a total using the Excel features we've learned in previous classes. To accurately estimate material cost, we need to gather information on current material cost per pound of material and also cost per quantity of any component that will be purchased. This can be done with some math and a Google search. Material cost data is usually available by the pound, but sometimes we need to use cost per volume to get to cost per pound.